Hey guys, Cam for 15 back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another uh, Ningen Fuse Fusion, um, where we get the second episode, another interesting episode to say the least, um, because, listen yo, um, there, I, I am liking where this show is headed, I am liking where this show is headed, um, now, I, I have seen other people's reviews uh, who said, you know, obviously animation doesn't look the best and everything. Honestly, I think the animation looks fine in my eyes. I don't really look into animation and everything unless it's, like, blatantly freaking bad and everything. But it's still fine. Like, it's fine for me, you know. But uh, this episode was actually pretty interesting. Um, and I liked it. It was just the game, this party, just forming, finally forming together. You know, and then going out on a whole little, you know, quest to pretty much rise up their their party rank and everything. And, you know, things happen to where uh, we see where distrust starts to happen. And it was actually pretty interesting to say the least that I was actually shocked that for a group of people that, well, let's just be honest, they got done all they all got done dirty. Um, they all don't even, even though they made a party with each other, the whole standpoint of them not trusting each other is actually kind of interesting just from the aspect. But I feel like it's going to be the thing where, yeah, they're going to live by this code not to trust each other and everything. Um, but eventually they're going to grow some companionship. They're going to grow to appreciate each other because in reality, that's all they got left. They, they, they're all that they have left and they can rely and they can depend on each other. Um... And I think by the end of this uh, series or the show, they'll eventually become all great friends and then they'll be able to trust each other. But I, I did find it interesting that, you know, just giving away like certain hints and doing like the different like when Nick explained like, OK, you do this task, you're going to do this task. <clears throat> and then they make the mention, like especially with the money, they make the mention, well, like, well, then you, you really trust us if this whole money thing what if we just take them all the money and we just spend it for something petty and nick's like oh yeah i didn't think about that well you know we can't trust each other so we'll make sure we delegate and come up with things on the fly so i'm like okay it's uh interesting um we actually do um get a little bit of information about uh kuren um the dragon girl um, and we find out that she's actually like one of the last survivors of her party. We find out that she ended up going to like this labyrinth and this entire group of her or her party all died out and she was a one lone survivor, which, you know, is actually pretty interesting. And we see how in this episode, she kind of looks like she's hiding something. All these characters look like they're hiding something. Nick most definitely looks like he's hiding something, but definitely what we see with Cure in this, or yeah, Cure in this episode seems like she's hiding something you know maybe it's a fear of maybe losing you know another group of people that you know she's grown a bond with even though this episode her and tiana kind of have a little bit of a beef where they fight back and forth in this week in this week's episode but next episode we're gonna it looks like we're gonna get more about kieran's backstory so that's um good to know but this episode was interesting. Uh, they just go through this this dungeon pretty much to go take on and just get all these weapon or get all these uh, items so they can be able to have money and get currency and everything. You know, the whole thing with Tiana and uh, Kieran fighting, it's simple. You know, there was this slime. There were, you know, they went with slimes and everything. And the slime split pretty much just kind of spit in Tiana's face and she fired off a uh, ice like ice icicle like spear and it almost hit uh kieran and she got pissed she pretty much got pissed off they were beefing the entire episode and the thing was kieran was like i was actually trying to believe that you i could trust you but now i don't even believe that anymore and they were almost beefing and everything but eventually you know they get to the point where um what is it when Nick is explaining like, oh, certain weaknesses of his and explaining all his different things and things like that. And again, another reason why we I can tell that Nick maybe might be hiding something is we see a bunch of freaking scars because then the plus they also make the mention they because when they're fighting these um the these goblins and everything, 
the other party members make a men- mention of like, ah, oh, Nick is a lot stronger than I thought he was. Um, and heck, when he takes off his entire armor, we see like the cuts, bruises, and scars he has on his skin. So you, Nick comes across like an adventurer that's seen some shit over his years. So, um, you know, I bet he's hiding something too. I guess time will only tell when we find out what he's hiding. Um, but yeah, um, that's kind of the thing there. But, you know, they resolve kind of the issue. You know, Tiana apologizes and everything. And then obviously, you know, she says her weaknesses to Kieran and Kieran's like, well, okay, fine. Um, but, you know, pretty much we get a nice solid episode. And then, you know, as we see there, I guess the relationship bond grows. It was curing all of fighting these uh these goblins and this one hobgoblin, you know, without trying to look back to see if maybe Tiana would um not hit her with the icicle spears and Tiana's like, hey, just trust me pretty much. And, you know, she she kept charging and then the spears hit the goblins. They didn't touch uh Kieran at all, so I feel like this story is going to be a thing where these characters are going to start to trust each other. Yeah, they'll probably bicker back and forth with one another, but by the time we get to the finale of this episode, they'll eventually more than likely trust each other. But we we can see that, obviously, these characters, they do want to trust each other. But again, I with the situations that they were all put in, I guess I don't blame them for not wanting to trust somebody that, hey, they just met the other day, to be honest. Like, you know, it's just like me meeting somebody off the street. I can't trust that person. You know, I don't know what they might do. If I trust them from the start, maybe that person may, like, turn on me and do something. Don't know. But um, another solid episode of of Ningen Fusion. Um, Definitely uh, looking forward to more of this uh, show. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode. As well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more uh, Winter of Anime 2023 reviews that uploads the channel. So then guys, stay safe out there and have a great rest of your day on our channel's video. Peace.